let's jump right in and create our project. So open up a command line, hit Windows key and enter CMD, and then switch to the directory where you store all your source code. And for me, that's C dev, but feel free to put your stuff anywhere you like. Then we do a simple make directory, and I'm gonna call the directory microservices, but again, feel free to call anything you like. Switch into that directory and execute the command gradle init dash dash type equals Java library. And if you do not have Gradle installed, simply watch the episode and decide on how to do it. Good. Now, Gradle created a template project for us, and it's time for us to open up the project in our IDE. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA, open up the project, hit the Gradle file, and then import the project with the following settings. Good. Our project loads up, and while Gradle or our ID finishes initializing the project, we can already clean up the directory source structure, because I like to delete the test library class and also the library class from the generated project template. We could also rename the files, but let's just delete them right away. Almost done, but there's one last thing I already know. And it's that we're going to not use an install database like MySQL or Postgres, but we're going to use an embedded Java database for this project, the good old H2 database. So let's go to mavenrepo.com, enter H2, click the latest version, and then simply copy the latest Gradle dependency to the clipboard. Go back to our IDE, paste the dependency into our Gradle file, and now our project is basically ready to be programmed. Congratulations, and let's go immediately to the next episode, where we will implement the mock web service that's going to represent the external audit server we talked about in the previous episode.